November 9, 1906, Bold Voyage. President Theodore Roosevelt embarked on a groundbreaking mission, becoming the first sitting U.S. president to travel outside the United States while in office. Accompanied by his wife, Edith Roosevelt, he departed from Chesapeake Bay aboard the USS Louisiana, a newly commissioned battleship. Their destination was Panama, where the ambitious and highly strategic Panama Canal project was underway, under U.S. control since 1904, after Roosevelt supported the region's independence from Colombia. Upon arriving in Panama on November 14, 1906, Roosevelt spent four days personally inspecting the Panama Canal's construction sites. His visit demonstrated his dedication to the success of the canal, which aimed to connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, shortening travel time for naval and commercial vessels. The canal's construction required overcoming immense engineering challenges, including the region's difficult terrain and the high risk of diseases like malaria and yellow fever. Roosevelt engaged directly with engineers and laborers, observing operations and demonstrating support for their efforts. His inspection included key locations such as the Colebra Cut, an area requiring massive excavation, and he lauded the workers, boosting morale among those facing grueling conditions. Roosevelt's Panama trip was significant not only for his bold overseas presence, but also for how it embodied the growing reach of American influence and its foreign policy initiatives. The visit reinforced the United States' commitment to global commerce, naval power, and strategic infrastructure projects. By visiting Panama personally, Roosevelt sent a clear message to the world about U.S. dedication to the canal's success and the nation's capability in engineering achievements. His journey remains a defining moment in presidential history, establishing a precedent for presidential diplomacy abroad and marking a pivotal step in shaping U.S. influence in the 20th century. For enthusiasts of historical ephemera, visit history-collectors.com to find collectibles that might complement your collection. You can own a piece of history.